When Yellowstone erupts again, Montana, Cody, or Wyoming, they'll still die. But new seismology research has finally pinpointed the exact location on the ground where an eruption will occur. If you want to die from magma instead of ash, the northeast of the park is the place to go. A team from the United States Geological Survey, USGS, measured the percentage of rock in Yellowstone's magma reservoirs that are actually melted. They found that none of it is even close to the level that would allow an eruption to occur. When Mount St. Helens erupted in 1980, much of the mountain's summit broke off and slid down its slopes in a massive landslide. What was left behind was a caldera. This crater-like depression in the rock isn't filled by a narrow vent like most volcanoes. Instead, a large body of magma sits just beneath a shallow layer of surface rock. That's what lurks beneath the surface in Yellowstone National Park. But unlike Mount St. Helens, the Yellowstone caldera doesn't have just one magma reservoir beneath it. It has four dots. The Yellowstone caldera has a long history. Previous eruptions have left the Northeast relatively untouched, but that could change when the next one comes. To find the magma, the USGS team used a network of stations that measure the conductivity of materials deep underground. This method, called magnetotellurics, relies on the fact that solid rock is very resistant to electric current. But once the rock starts to melt, electric current can flow through it. So the magma shows up in magnetotelluric measurements as pockets of high underground conductivity. These magma spots aren't actually underground pools like aquifers, but rather honeycomb mixtures of solid and liquid rock. As long as the percentage of melt stays below 40%, the pockets in the honeycomb can't build up enough pressure to erupt from the ground. The largest fraction of melt found in the new study was just 18% and that's unlikely to increase much in the coming decades. Although the USGS has identified pockets of molten rheolite rock beneath all of Yellowstone. Magma conduits connect the northeastern pockets of melted rhyolite to deeper reservoirs of molten basalt. Magma made of rhyolite produces the characteristic volcanic ash, but basalt is the real driver of eruptions because it flows more easily. That means it can channel heat from deep within the earth, pushing molten rhyolite to the surface. The volume of magma beneath Yellowstone is now greater than in previous eruptions. It's hard to know how much magma will still be there when the caldera finally erupts. In Yellowstone's giant volcanic crater, magma is moving again. Home to half the world's active geysers and about the size of Cyprus, Yellowstone National Park scenery and wildlife make it one of the biggest tourist attractions in the U.S.